many people, at least um, from my encounters in coaching, find it very difficult to get in tune with, with their own true self. And personally, I use a similar analogy to, to the one that you use. So um, even for myself, so this is something that I ask myself a lot of times. So when I'm, uh, when I'm in a when I intersection of sorts, when I need to make a decision, I ask myself whether this decision will lead me to the future self that I envision. But for some people, uh, this question or the answer to that question is very tough. Um, what would be your response to that? How would you tackle such a, such a situation? So it's a great question, right? Where that question can fall flat is that if they're not truly sure where they want to go. And what that can be is that when you can't truly identify where you want to go, the other way to, to, to basically reverse that question is to go, what are all the things you want, to, you don't want right now? Because it's easy for us to sometimes say what we want, but it's very, very easy for us to say what we don't want. Well, I don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck. I don't want to, you know, rent this home because I'm in this bad, bad area where my kids don't go to good schools, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to, you know, have to worry about, you know, being able to pay for a car if it's just going to break down every week, right? You can start to identify all the things you don't want. I don't want my kids, you know, eating out every day because I, I, I just don't have time to cook for them, right? You can start to be very clear with what you don't want. And then from there, you can reverse the role to say, okay, these are the things I do, I do want. And when you flip the switch on that, you can start to get a very clear picture because it's, it's it, many of us have been trained, you know, I was like this for years, right? Led with the negative. It's very, you know, it's conditioned into us to lead with the negative, yeah. right? Oh, today is horrible. It's bad. The weather is bad. Oh, you know, like, so it's very easy for us to, to learn that. And when we learn that, well, okay, now we can identify what we don't want, but we start to reposition that into a frame to all the positives that we can have when we get there. And when you do that, then you can start to say, you know, I, I had a friend say once that, you know, it's hard for us to, to see ourselves, you know, to see the label when we're stuck inside the jar, right? You, you, when you see a jar, you see all the ingredients and then you have the things inside. Well, we're basically in the jar yeah. and all the ingredients are us, but it's hard for us to read it because we're inside of ourselves. So if you start to identify as all the stuff you don't want, then you can start understanding, okay, what are the things I'm doing right now that potentially, you know, not, not, not looking at it negatively, not putting ourselves down, not saying, you know, we're bad or good or anything in between, but we can start to point out some of the things that have led us to where we are. No judgment, just what have led us to where we are. Now going forward, how can we adjust some of these things to have a better hopeful response going forward that can help to start to slowly change our future? And when we do that, one step can lead to two steps, that can lead to three steps, that can lead to four steps. And lo and behold, life can change very seemingly quick, but, but, but very fast compared to how many years you've struggled and exactly where you are. 